Hello, what's up, guys? In this video, I am going to show you that how you can create a multi step form within your WordPress dashboard using Fluent Forms. Now, in order to create the multi step form, you obviously require the pro version of the Fluent Forms. So, I already have downloaded the pro version. I'll click on this upload plugin and then I'll click on choose file here. I'll have to choose this Fluent Forms Pro and then I'll click on this install now button. So, once you'll click on this install now button, this pro version of the Fluent Forms will get uploaded on your WordPress dashboard. In order to get the pro version of your website, you can go to the official website which is fluentforms.com and then here in the pricing tab, you will be able to get any of the suitable license that you want. So I already have downloaded my pro version and I already have installed it. Now we are activating the plugin. Once it will get activated, we will begin to create our multi-step forms. So now in the Fluent Forms Pro, once I go back, you can see that it is Fluent Form Pro now. In order to create the uh, multi-step form, I'll have to click on this Add a New Form button and we'll begin with the blank form. First of all, let's change the title and we'll call it multi step form. I'll click on rename. Okay, so let's start with the contact information first. So, in the first phase, I want to collect the uh, contact information that includes the name, email, phone number. So, here we have these fields. We can always customize these fields here. So, if you only want the first name field, just click on this one, uncheck that, and then rename this to name field only. And you can mark it as required field. Same thing I want to do for the uh, email field, but I want to remove the placeholder text that are there. So, I'll get rid of the placeholder text. For all of these fields, I want to mark it as required as well, and for the phone number field as well, I want to mark it as required also. So that now we have this created here. Next thing, what I want to do is to create another step or another page in the form. For that, what I want is to use this form step field. I'll click on this form step, and now you can see that we have this end of the page and page break section here. If you click on customize this, you can see that we have previous button. You can choose either the image for the button or the default button. You can change the text whether you want it to say previous or back. So let's say we call it back, and for the next, we uh, call it next the way it is. Now I want to insert more fields, so I will click on this input fields and I'll add the simple text field here. From here, I want to name it as uh, company name, company name, and then I'll duplicate this one and I'll name it as your position in company. Then I want to duplicate this one again. And this time I want to label label it as primary industry. And I want to insert one more field here. So let's say well, what is the size of business? So size of business. Okay. So now we have these fields here. I want to add one more page break here. So I'll again go to this advanced field and I'll click on this form setup again. And then I want to insert the fields again. So now I want to insert the simple text field again. And this time I want to label it as what is the size of business that you are targeting 
and then once again now this time I want to insert check boxes here in the check boxes I want please select that sorry please select that apply and uh, in the option I want to insert I need access to a database or call list or oh, and the second option I want to give is I need help creating list I don't want to keep the third option so I'll get rid of that then the advanced option here I have the layout option and from here I want to choose two column layout then I want to insert one more text field here and I will label it as estimated start date of project estimated start date of project now I want to label it as required field now I want to insert a text area field here and in the text area field I want to label it as tell us what your campaign is about aka what does your company do and what are your offerings to new potential customers okay so now we have this created here I want to increase the number of rows so probably like five rows here and then I want to insert one more check boxes item or multiple choice uh, I'll use multiple choices option here and the multiple choices I want to use what type of services do you require so here I want to use what I don't want to use placeholder so in the element label what type of services to issue require and the option I want to give B to B appointment setting and then pre qualified lead generation and then customer satisfaction survey and then database updating and the last option that I want to give is event registration so here we have all of these options now I want to add few more fields in this section here so I'll go to input fields and I want to insert a website URL field here right here so I'll label it as your website URL and I want to mark it as required and I'll hit save form here now if you click on this preview and design and now if I fill out these fields I hit next you can see that we have this multi-step forms here and here are all the multi-step select fields that we have created you can always click on this back option here and the next op next option here so this is how you can create a multi-step form using fluent forms i hope you like this video if you like this video please consider subscribing to my youtube channel i'll see you in the next video